folks, this is Vincent Adeli with Ads Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to quickly check out Lost Ruins of Arnak. This game supports 1 to 4 players, it's for ages 12 and up, and the average play time is roughly 30 minutes per player. Now, <laughs> this is a very component-heavy game, and this is our first time playing, so there may be a rules goof or two, just forewarning you. Uh, here's a quick look at the box. I hesitate to use the word insert. There are plenty of baggies, I'll give them that, but there is no insert, it's just the box. Alright, um, the components that we're not using, there are these um, card backs or tile backs with these little arrows on them. That's for the single player game. These are other tokens that we're not using. They're bonuses that we'll get along the way. Um, there are Starter decks for each player color. There's a deck building element to this, so each player gets their own starting deck. So these are the colors that we're not using. These are the bonuses, the research temple bonuses that we're not using for this game because of the player count and so on. There are stickers that come with the game, and they're going to be added to a magnifying glass and a book. To or the these little tokens here. I just got lazy and didn't add them to both sides. But one's a magnifying glass, one's a book, and you can add them via these stickers here. Okay, so what do we got going on here? Well, the Lost Ruins of Arnak. We're kind of like Indiana Jones. We're going to be exploring locations, going to dig sites, and trying to find various treasures. We're going to be trying to improve our deck along the way. Each of us starts with a player board, and we have two of these archaeologists. Um, I'll explain more about these boards in a minute. Each player starts with a deck of cards, uh, six cards to be exact. I'll go ahead and show you mine, then reshuffle. So each player starts with um, two exploration cards, two of these funding cards, and two of these fear cards. The fear cards are in the very top middle of the board, very difficult to see because the board is so large. But there are, there is a deck of face-up fear cards up there. They are all the same. There's no difference between them. That's why they're face-up. So each player is going to get four cards unique to their color and two fear cards. And every starting deck is the same. So it doesn't matter what color you pick, it's the same deck. Okay. Um, Player board, two archaeologists, great. Each player also starts with a certain amount of currency, depending on whether or not they're starting first. I start with two gold coins as the start player. I get the first player marker here. Idly starts with a green compass and a gold token. All right, the board. There's a lot. Okay, so we'll start from the top and work our way down. There's a deck of artifacts on the very top left, and there's also a staff to indicate that this is the first round. So this is the staff that goes under the one, the Roman numeral one, and you deal one artifact card to the very first slot to the left of the staff. And here's what an artifact card looks like. It's blue. The cost is down here on the bottom left. You need three of these compasses to buy it. The, to activate the card, you need to spend one of these tablets, which is also one of these currency tokens. And the purple is how many points you get at the end of the game for having it in your deck. And then, again, this is the, act, this is the ability that you can activate whenever you spend that. Upper left-hand corner of a card is also the travel. Like, most of these cards are dual purpose. You can either use a card for its travel or for its effect down here. And we'll get into more in the travel later. But suffice it to say, one artifact on the upper left here to start. And then as the staff moves to the right from round to round, you're going to have more artifacts and less of these item cards. Item cards are much the same thing. Um, they are going to be added to your deck just like the artifacts will. Um, artifacts look have a different shade of color. They cost gold instead of compasses. Again, they've got some kind of travel symbol up here and effect down here and how many points they're worth at the end of the game. So you're going to, at the beginning of the game, one artifact and five of these items like so. And there's a deck of item cards up there. All right, working our way down this way. These 12 spots are undiscovered ruins that we're going to be discovering along the way. There's these here, there's the one slaughter things and the two slaughter things. Those are shuffled and face down, and as we go to these locations, we're going to draw one, put them here, flip them over, and get cool stuff. Okay? Um, and I'll get into 
each of the actions when we get there. But suffice it to say, we're going to be discovering new locations via these two decks and adding them here. These are relics. The player to go here first will get this relic token. You could do a couple of things with these. At the end of the game, they're worth three points. Relics will just simply go onto your player board face down. You do get the, the benefit first. You get the like this little compass, for example. You get a compass, put it face down on your board. At the end of the game, worth three points. You can, there's on your board, there's room for four slots. So there's one, two, three, and four. As a free action on your turn, you can take a relic that's sitting here and put it in the leftmost spot. It covers one victory point, but as a one-time bonus, you can take any of these five actions here. So the more you do that with the relics that you're collecting, the more victory points you're covering up. If you don't cover up any, at the end of the game, you get an extra 10 points. But again, as you start covering these up, you get less and less points. But you still get these free actions. So suffice to say, you get these relics from these locations. They go here. You can optionally use them to put into these slots to take these free actions. But in doing so, you're covering up victory points. So that's what these relics are. And again, these are just randomized here. Um, these one, these one slaughters here, there's only one relic. And on these two slaughters up here, there's a face down and a face up relic. The face down relic stays face down. You do not reveal it later and get its bonus. It does count though toward your, your camp you, for points and stuff and to be used here if you want to. All right, anyway. Um, so this is the one slaughters, and these are the two slaughters. So the twos go up here, and the ones go in these eight here. All right, and again, I'll get to how you do that specifically later. These act as these, but these are known locations. So you're going to be sending your archaeologists here as well to just get whatever's on here. There's two gold, two compass, two of these tablets one arrowhead, and here you have to give up a card from your hand, just discard it, to get a red gem. So you can send an archaeologist here to get benefits, okay? And I'll get into traveling in a minute, because there's a cost for getting here. On the right-hand side of the board is your research track. That's what all of this is. We start with a magnifying glass and a book on the bottom of this track. As a general rule, the book cannot be higher on the track than the magnifying glass. So the magnifying glass has to be on the same level as or above the book, okay? And to do that, I know it's kind of hard to see because this is such a large board, but I'm going to see if I can actually zoom in a little bit and hopefully we would, okay, that'll work. So let's say I'm here with these. If I want to move up to the next location, I can either go this way, this way, or up this way. I would pay the cost on the bridge here. So I would pay, if I want to go to this spot, I would have to pay one gold, one tablet, one blue arrowhead, okay? If I'm the first player to get there and there's a bonus token, I just simply get that bonus and I discard it, okay? And, and also, whenever you go to a location, on the right-hand side, there's going to be a bonus. Um, it'll say, um, ignore the purple numbers, that's for end game scoring. So this says, this is the magnifying glass, that says one compass, so I would get a compass. If I were to move the book up here, this book says a gold assistant, and I'll get to assistants in a little bit. But suffice it to say, you're going to be using actions to move these two tokens up these tracks, paying the cost on the bridge to um, further your, your research. And at the very top of that, You've got, um, if you're the first player to reach this, you're going to go in the very first slot, which is 23 points. The next player to reach it's 21, then 20, then 19. So you get rewarded for being the first one up there. You also get to take one of these bonus, face-down bonus tiles. Above that is the actual temple itself. You're going to be paying, uh, there's, again, it's hard to see, but there's bridges here as well. If you just pay, if you want to get the bottom most which is two points, then you only pay the cost right below it. If you want to get the silver one, which is worth six points, then you have to pay the two bridge, like there's two bridges underneath it. So you have to pay both bridge costs. If you want the gold one on the very top, 
you have to pay the cost of all three bridges. So it's worth the, the gold one is worth 11 points, but you have to pay for every single bridge. If you want to pay the silver, you pay the two bridges under it. And then if you just want the bronze or whatever that is, then you'll just take the one directly under it. So anyway, that's what the research track is all about. Assistants. These are assistants down here. They start on the silver side. Um, and generally, there's a silver side and a gold side. These are free actions. Anytime you see a lightning bolt symbol, that constitutes a free action that you can take on your turn. Once per turn, you can exhaust it by turning it sideways and taking the action here. This gold value on the bottom is the upgraded value on the reverse side. As a reward for getting your knowledge, your book so high, you can start upgrading your assistance from silver to gold, and that will benefit you great more, you know, because you'll be upgrading them and getting them, uh, you know, leveled up, so to speak. So those are assistants. Um, these here are monsters. Um, in addition to whenever you're exploring these, whenever you're discovering these locations, monsters are also added to those as well. And again, I'll get to that in a minute. So that is the board. Okay, so what are we doing on our turn? The game is played over five rounds. And on our turn, we can do one main action. Again, we're going to have five cards in our hand at the beginning of every round. And on our turn, we can do one main action, as many free actions as we want. The first thing we do is, we could do is dig at a site. That involves bringing our guy to one of these locations and digging. Uh, actually, no, that involves down here, I'm sorry. So we're gonna go down here. To do that, there's a foot icon. Now there is a hierarchy when it comes to traveling. Airplane will get you anywhere. The carriage will get you to a carriage spot or a foot spot. The boat will get you to a boat spot or a foot spot. A uh, foot spot or a foot spot will just get you to a foot spot. So a plane again will get you anywhere. It's the best that you can get. You can also, for two gold, hire a pilot to get anywhere you want. So I would have to discard a card in my hand or play, add it to my play area. Um, again, I'm actually, I'm going to go ahead and show you my deck again. I'll reshuffle them. I would have to play, say, let's say I had uh, these five cards in my hand. I would have to play, say, this one, this foot symbol to move to this foot symbol. Again, these cards are dual purpose, so I either play it for the effect on the upper left or the effect in the middle, not both. So I could, if I wanted to, play a carriage for the foot because, again, based on the hierarchy chart, the, the carriage will also get me to where I need to go as far as foot is concerned. But that's over overspending, so to speak. So I probably want to spend my fear card instead. Um, so I'd play the fear card, that, that counts as my travel cost, and then I would get two gold coin from the bank and add it to my, add it to my amount, add it to my personal reserve, okay? And that, that's, what, that's what that is. The next thing that you can do on your turn as a main action is discover a new site. And discovering a new site involves, again, paying the travel cost. This is a carriage, so I would want to pay the carriage here. Add it to my play area. I've used it. And now I get this relic. Um, this relic is face up and I would get this compass from the reserve. I would put it face down in my little tent area here, the little goods. And then I would, I'm gonna go ahead and reveal the bottom one because I doubt we'll ever get that far. So here's the bottom one. Actually, that's not the bottom one. This is the bottom one. There we go. So I'm gonna reveal that and it's this. So immediately I get this gold trinket or this gold token and this blue arrowhead. I get that immediately. In addition to that, I also reveal a monster. And these, these are like guardians. They will guard that area. They don't do any damage to you, but they will cause you to gain fear cards. Okay, so this guy is going to be added to that location. And you will be able to confront them, which I'll get to. But here's what a guardian looks like. Um, in the upper right hand corner, if you happen to defeat the Guardian and add it to your t uh, tableau, you can use its boon as a one-time thing. This is a boat. So uh, for a one-time boon, I can use this as a boat, then flip it over face down, and I still get five points at the end of the game um, for having it. Um, this is the cost to defeat the Guardian, which I'll get to. Okay. So that I've just 
I've just explored a site. That's, that's another thing you can do on your turn. The next thing you could do on your turn is overcome a guardian. Well, you can pay the cost by discarding cards, playing, adding them to your play area based on what they need, and whenever you defeat a guardian, again, it goes into your area face up. You can use its boon later on during the game, and then you flip it face down when you do, but that's how you confront a guardian, and they're worth five points at the end of the game. So you could do that, confronting a guardian. Um, buy an item. These are items to the right of the staff. Uh, the cost is in the bottom left-hand corner of the card. You could buy an artifact. Uh, whenever you buy a card, it goes to the bottom of your deck it immediately. It just goes to the bottom of your deck. It doesn't go in your play area like other deck builders. It goes on the bottom of your deck immediately. You buy an artifact. You can put it in your play area, and then you get to take its effect immediately without paying the tablet cost. Okay, But in the future, when that card comes up again, you do have to pay the tablet cost if you want to use it. Research. You can um, pay the bridge cost to move your tokens up. Again, the book cannot be above the magnifying glass. Whenever you move up, you're going to gain the benefit on the right, um, but you have to also, again, pay the cost across that bridge. Okay? Or pass. If you have no, nothing else to do, then you're going to pass and you're done for that round. When everyone has passed, then the round is over. You're going to return all of the archaeologists. If you have an archaeologist on a place with a guardian, you also add a feared card to your play area. So that'll clutter up your deck and also give you negative points at the end of the game. These feared cards have minus one on the bottom right-hand corner. You're going to shuffle all the cards in your play area and add them to the bottom of your deck underneath the cards that you bought. So that's why you add these cards that you bought immediately to your uh, the bottom of your deck. Then under that will be the cards from your play area. Um, then you refresh your assistance if you've used any of them. And then you advance the card row. You're going to get rid of the two cards next to the staff. And then you're going to move all the cards down toward the staff and then replenish the card row. Um, Again, as the staff moves left to right, you're going to get more artifacts and less items. So, in the beginning of the game, lots of items, one artifact, but that'll change. And then, um, you're going to pass the first player marker over to the next person. You drop the five cards, rinse and repeat. If you happen to run out of... Again, you won't run out of cards because, again, you're constantly putting cards at the bottom of your deck. So, that, in a nutshell, is Lost Ruins of Arnak. 15, 20 minutes later. <laughs> okay, I forgot to mention how the end game is scored. Well, here's the score pad. You're going to get points based on wherever your tokens are at the end of the game. There's spots for the book and spots for the magnifying glass. You're going to take a look at the purple number, whatever row they're on, that's what you get. Next one is, if you've managed to get up here and take any of the tan, silver, gold tokens, then there'll be point costs on those and you'll get that, they'll get that many points. Any relics that you have at the end of the game, plus any open relic slots that you haven't used to get these special abilities. Um, any guardians that you defeated are worth five points. Um, the cards that you have in your deck will have point costs on them, so you'll get some points for those. And then any fear cards you have are negative one point each. And then you'll sum that up and whoever's the most points wins. And again, this is our first time playing, so um, we may get something wrong as we play. I am first player. As the first player, I get two gold tokens. She gets a gold and a compass. And I get to take uh, one main action on my turn. Let's go ahead and deal up to five. One, two, three, four, five. Did you deal up to five cards? And then I will take a look at my hand and see what I have. Okay. So now I have to figure out what I want to do on my turn. I'm going to go ahead and put these over here for now so I can put my play area here. And these spots are reserved for these assistants. Okay. So, I've got two gold tokens. I kind of want to research a bit, but I need arrowheads, I need compasses. That's okay, wow. Um, already we're off to a great start. Um, oh, I need, have, oh yes, yeah. this one needs to go here. Yep, I didn't refresh that. Okay, um, oh and by the way, she, during uh, the break, she asked what these were. In a two-player game, there's two, there's two spots here. 
for um, to, to go on. But because of the two-player count, you're going to block them off with these blockers. In a three-player game, I think you only choose three of them at random. So some locations you'll have two spots to go on to, um, but in a two-player game, you block off that second spot so that once you're there, no one else can go there. Okay. Anyway, getting back to the game. Um, so again, I can discard... Uh, this is a free action, so I could, like, I'm going to go ahead and get a compass, just by, this is a free action for me. So instead of playing this card for its travel effect, I'm going to play it as a free action, hence the lightning bolt symbol, and I'm going to get a compass, okay? And it's a free action, so I still get to keep going. And now I'm going to travel here to get an arrowhead. So to travel here, I need to spend a foot token, or a foot travel thing. So I'm going to spend this fear card, which has the foot symbol on the top right, just put it in my little play area here, and I'm going to take one blue arrowhead and add it there. And that was my main action, so I am now done. So it is now your turn. Oh, so your main action... We each take a main action, and then play passes to the next player. I see. Now you get to take as many free actions as you want, like I just did. I took, it, I took a free action with this, but my main action of traveling to a dig site, I did that. So oh, unlike a traditional deck builder, typically I'd play all my cars and then it's your turn. But in this game, it's I do something, you do something. I do something, you do something. Back forth, back forth. All right. I, I'll get a coin. As a free action? Yep. As a free okay. action. Got it. I think. Yep. And I can use this as a shoe to travel. Yep. And I'll go all the way to the left. To get a coin? Yeah. So two coins. Two coins. Okay. And that would end your turn? Yeah. Useless. <laughs> well, you might need that money. I don't know. All right. Um, back to me. Um, what am I going to do with this? So this is now your main action. This again. is now my main action again. Right, Correct. I um, I am going to... I think I'm going to research... I'm going to spend my compass and blue arrowhead per this bridge to move my magnifying glass up to this spot. As a reward, I get this gold token. And that was my main action. So it is now your main action. Okay. Um... Okay. And what I may do, since these are just resources, I'm actually going to zoom in a little bit like that so you guys can actually see a little bit better. But again, it's kind of hard because this board is so huge. And these are actually two separate boards. This is just a supply board that goes underneath. So when the round ends, if you end on one of these things... With a you guardian have to there. Kill a fear, uh, you have to get a fear card. I right. Say. Assuming, unless you spend the main action to defeat it. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to spend. I'm going to shop. I'm going to buy an item. Okay. I'm going to spend four coins. Ooh, big spender. And spend. Nine. All right, so I'm going to show the camera what you're getting. Okay, so she's getting the revolver. The revolver has two boat icons on the very top left, and that's important because, again, it's hard to see, but these spots here for these two slaughter locations need two boats. So this is going to help her get to that location should she want to. Um, so it has two boats on the upper left. It also has this action here. So she can. it's just spend a compass to kill... Um, kill a guardian instantly, which is nice. So she can, she's the guardian slayer now. This will immediately go on the bottom of your deck. Immediately. Mm -hmm. There you go. All right, I'm going to zoom in back in a little bit. Now, the way this refreshes, all of these cards move to the left, and a new item is flipped face up at the end. Would you like to see it? No, nah, it's, well, I guess we'll show the camera whenever we start buying them. All right. All right, now that was your main action? Mm hmm Okay. So now, um, I've got three coins. I may want to actually buy a card myself. Um, what is this steamboat? It's for three. Um, it has two boat icons on it. As a free action, I get two compasses. As a free action, that's not too bad, actually. Um, and compasses will help me discover sites. 
Um, whereas this three coiner over here, is that a brush? Gain compass for each relic you have up to three. Well, I don't have any relics yet. I think this is more important than that. Um, and that one over here that was just drawn, the lantern, activate any campsite. So I don't have to travel here. I can just activate it and get resources, whatever I want. Um, that's kind of cool. Um, in case I'm short anything, I don't have to send an archaeologist there. I can just activate it. So do I need resources that badly? Um, hmm. That's tough. I... I kind of like, hmm, activate any, but that gives me as a free, this, this is, this would, this counts as an action though, because there's no lightning bolt symbol. That's a free action. But I think this is actually, I'm going to go ahead and buy this one, this lantern. So I'm going to spend my three coin that I have, and that goes on the bottom of my deck. And there you go. That was my main action. And a new card refreshes. Um, what does the artifact say? The artifacts? Mm -hmm. Uh, let's see. Uh, for a tablet, uh, archaeologist onto any dig space for free. You may activate it twice instead of once. So, the travel cost is free, and you can activate it, or, I'm sorry, um, onto any dig site. These are dig sites. So, you can go to any of these five locations for free without paying the foot cost, and you can activate it twice. So you can get like four compasses or four gold. If these were revealed, then these would turn into dig sites, right? Mm, I don't know if there's a symbol on No. Oh, okay. So these only are, the ones with the tents? Yeah, the only one with the tents on it. Interesting. Okay. Um, so this is a way of generating resources, basically. That, that passage shell. Yeah. Hmm. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Half an hour per player, my foot. Oh my gosh, I know. Okay, I'm gonna buy that artifact. With the free actions, I'll get two exploration points. Two compasses? Yeah. Okay. And I will purchase that as my main action. Okay. Can I do that? Yeah. Now this activates immediately. Yeah. Whenever it goes into your, like, whenever you buy an artifact, it goes into your play area immediately without you having to pay for the tablet. Yeah. So you can now move a guy, archaeologist, onto a spot. And you can activate it twice instead of once. Correct. So do you want to get four compasses? Do you want four tablets? Um, now here's the thing: if I don't have any tablets and I have this in my hand again. I can't use it because I wouldn't have any tablets Correct. to spend, right? Mm -hmm. oh. So you can get four tablets and that'll guarantee you'll be able to use it almost for the rest of the game. That's insane. It's also worth a point at the end of the game as well. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and refresh this while, I'm, while you're doing that. This is hard! Inscribed Blade. <laughs> Research with a discount of either one arrowhead or two tablets. I I am gonna get four tablets. Four tablets. Why the heck not? Makes sense to me. Might as well fund your powers. Yeah. Did you take these? Wait. You? I didn't take them. I spent them. You okay, spent yeah. them. Yeah. All right. Um, that was your main action. Um, what am I gonna do? I still have an archaeologist here that I need to do something with, and I have nothing. So I'm gonna go here, pay my fear, my my foot cost and get two compasses, mm -hmm. and that was my main action. You know what, I might as well spend these as well. I mean, I can't travel anywhere else, so I might as well just use these free actions and get two gold coins. Mm -hmm. I mean, it doesn't make any sense not to. So I'm out of cards at this point. Um, what happens if you have a card left? Um, you can either hold on to it for the next round, or you can discard it in your play area to be shuffled in into the bottom of your deck. Is that a fear card that you've got left over? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, it's up to you. There's nothing you can really do with it. No. Alright, so... Alright, 
So now we've ended the round. Are we done? We've, we both passed? Yeah. Okay. All right, so now we return our guys. Folks, he's so frustrated at me playing with these little Can things. Can you just put the tokens okay, down? Okay, all right, I'm sorry. Thank okay. you. Shuffle all cards in your play area. Put them in the bottom of your deck. So all the play, all the cards in your play area, you're going to shuffle those up. And put them on the very on the bottom. bottom. Yeah, not, you don't shuffle Right, them. so any cards that you bought mm -hmm. will be above the cards that you just put under. So you'll see your newly bought cards before you see these. Okay. Um, refresh any assistance, which we don't have any. Advance the card row. So we're going to exile, which means just these go into like their, they go into separate areas. Uh, this is the exile pile. This is the exile pile. This gets moved over. Mm -hmm. And anything to the left of the artifact is, or to the staff, we get artifact cards out. So there's two new artifacts. And we draw five, right? Yep, and we draw five cards. One, two, three, four, five. And the first player marker now passes to you. Okay. So you can now take your turn. A main action? Main action. Alrighty then. Okay. I will... I will spin a tablet. Okay, to activate that ability, which is take an archaeologist, put him somewhere here, and it's for free, and you activate that space twice. So you're going to get four compasses. Yeah. One, two, three, four. And I return this. Yep. Yeah. And that was an action, because mm -hmm. there's no lightning bolt symbol there. Mm -hmm. All right, so now it's my turn. Mm -hmm. Um... As an action, I can activate any site, any campsite. So um, I'm just going to play that and activate a site. What am I going to want? Um, I don't have any artifacts yet, um, so do I need any tablets? The next one up is a gem, or I can go this way. Um, or I could bring this up. It's expensive. Um... Let's think. Um, I kind of want to activate this blue one and get a blue one, but... Yeah, I'm going to take... I want to take one of these blue arrowheads. Actually, I, I could take... Yeah, I, you know, I'm going to take a, a red one. Now, if I go here, I have to give up a card in my hand to do that. And I might need these foots for later. Mm, crap. I hate that. Yeah, this play, this location says discard a card from your hand. Don't use it as its effect at all. And then you get a red gem. I don't really want to do that. Um, this bonus effect says exile a card in your play area or in your hand. Um, okay. So I, I'm going to take, I'm going to activate this spot and get a blue arrowhead. And that's my main action. All right. My main action is a carriage thing. Okay. To travel to To travel to what's the hierarchy? I forgot. What are you What are you doing? Where are you going? The carriage to the. I can't go here, right? You need a boat or a plane to yeah. go here. Okay, that's fine. I'll just go there. Okay, so you get one gold, mm -hmm. and you also get this face down in your little area. It's three points. Okay. A location pops up. Oh, did you pay? Th you have to pay three compasses. Oh yeah. Here you go. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Good. All right. All right, so this is what she drew. She immediately gets a tablet and an arrowhead. 
Okay, and now a creature comes out, and it looks like it's some kind of ant, giant ant. She needs two boot symbols and a compass in order to beat it. Mm -hmm. All right, and that was your turn. Um, my turn. Let's see. Well, huh. I kind of need to start going to these places too so that I can... I need three compasses though. Well, crap. Um, yeah, I can't do that after the fact. Maybe I'll concentrate on things that generate me resources. Okay, so instead maybe I'll do a free action funding that gets me a gold. And for my action, I will spend three gold to buy a card. I'm going to buy the Steamboat, which is a for a free action, I can generate two compasses. So this immediately goes to the bottom here. And these slide over, and a new item pops up there. All right, and that was my main action. Okay. My main action... Actually, I'm going to use this for a coin. Okay, so you get a coin. My main action is this revolver. Okay. To get rid, to turn in a compass. Okay. To get rid of that guardian. Okay, so that just stays there, and mm -hmm. this is killed. Your boon is, for free action, you can exile a card from your hand or from your play area. Can I save it? You can save it, yeah. Yeah. I'll so it just goes here until you're ready to use it. Okay. Cool. All right. So that confronting that creature, a guardian, that's your action. Um, my turn again. Well, um, I have this archaeologist. I guess I will move him. Hmm. Kind of stuck. Hmm. Well, I could go up the track that way and get I can exile a card. Um You could go up the track? How? Um well I'm thinking about uh -oh. I'm thinking about the okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put an archaeologist here with my boot, my foot symbol, to get two of these things. Oh, wow, so you didn't put an archaeologist anywhere. Not yet. Wow, nice. Okay. My turn? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm going to spend two coins. Okay. To grab this card. Okay. Which is the rope card. Oh, nice. Okay. So it's like a discard one. Discard Something? a card from your hand to draw two new cards. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And that goes on the bottom of your deck. Oh, yeah. And a new card would be replaced. Yep, you got it. I am going to, as a free action, get a compass. And I still have a main action. I, I can spend this as a carriage and go somewhere with my three compasses and, and find a place. Um, am I going to do that? Um, what do I need? That's gold, that's compass, that is, what is that? I have no idea what that is. Um, doesn't actually say. Oh, it? make one of these two trades. It's a trade. Um, okay, so this allows me to trade something. I'm not going to do that. Okay. Um, I'm going to go here, I think. I'm going to use my carriage and three compasses. Well, do I really want to do that? As much as I like discovering places, those guardians, I mean, I have no nothing to stop them. Okay, so maybe I might want to concentrate on other things. So maybe I'll just, I mean, it's kind of a waste of an archaeologist, personally, but, um, I, you know, I, I could spend this to go somewhere else. Okay, I'm going to do that. I'm going to spend this guy um, as a carriage, even though the carriage is overkill. 
But I'm going to go ahead and take, um, I'm going to go here and take two coin. And that ends my turn. I will use this action to get rid of this card. Okay, so you flip that over. So you exiled the fear card. What, is, what goes here? Assistance, whenever you oh, get them. Okay. Um, I don't have any cards, but I can still take an action. Um, I'm going to go ahead and spend an arrowhead and a tablet mm. to move up the magnifying glass here. So the book does not have to be adjacent? No. Okay, nice. Now I get this bonus, which is exile a card. I'm going to get rid of this fear card. <clears throat> and that's, that goes away permanently. As a bonus, I get one compass and I get one assistant. Nice. And which assistant am I going to want? This guy is two gold, this guy is either a compass or a boat, and this guy is exile. Okay, I'm going to take the money. Um, so that goes there. All right, and it is your turn. I Should pass. You, you pass. I can't do anything. Um, okay, do I want to do anything further? Um, can I upgrade again? I don't have another blue arrowhead, so I can't move my book up, and I don't have a blue arrowhead to move out. Okay. So I don't have anything there. Um, buying an item, I've got th I've got two gold, and I don't think yeah. There's nothing I want to spend there. Do I want an artifact with my four compasses? Um, pay gold to activate any two different. Pay one gold to activate any two different sites. That could be useful. Um, research with a discount of a, ruby. a red gem. So anytime I want to research and it costs a red gem, I don't have to pay it. That's a thought. Um, if I'm going to go heavy on the research tree, that could help me get up this track quickly. So I'm going to go that route. I'm going to spend three compasses to grab this idol of Ara Anu. <laughs> and that, now I can activate that immediately, however, I, I sh maybe I should have waited on it was gonna go away anyway you know that's fine so it, it goes here I could have activated it but um, I can't use it right now so it just these get mixed in and I passed so anything else oh I get to use my assistant I forgot about that I'm just gonna tap him as a free action and get two gold coins oh maybe I should buy something Okay, go ahead. It's, no, um, go ahead. No, no, did you pass? Uh, was that a main action? Did you already take a main My action? main action was buying that oh, yeah. thing. So this refreshes. Yeah. Now, technically, I free action, mm -hmm. two gold, did that. And I still pass, but you can still take another main I action. I could still take another yeah. main action. I've got four gold coins. Do I want to buy anything? Um... That is air, aeroplane with a discount of uh, discovering a new site. No. Horse. I get a card, a gold, and a compass. Ooh. That's cool. So this generates more resources for me. Um, you know, I will take for four gold. Yeah, this gets me more resources. So I'm going to go ahead and spend four gold for this horse card. Um, and that goes to the bottom of my deck. Oh, underneath that one. All right, and I'm done with that. Um, are you still going to pass? Yeah. Okay, so now we shuffle the cards in our play area. And we... Oh, does this move? They moved, well... And refresh? Yeah, that refreshes. At the end of the round, though, these two go away. Oh. And... The staff moves... No, no, no. Oh, oh the staff moves down. That's right. I forgot. Mm -hmm. And that moves like that. And one, two. Okay. So we're on the third round. Out of five. All right. And now we draw five cards. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, did we get our archaeologist back? Oh, yeah, here you go. Archaeologist there. Archaeologist there. Oh, and this goes to you? Yeah, it goes to me. All right, and my guy refreshes. 
Okay, so for free action, I might as well just get my gold now. So two gold coins. And out of everything, um, I could use that to draw another card immediately. I, actually, the steamboat is a free action. Do I plan on using the steamboats anywhere? Do I intend to get these idols? I don't think so. So, um, um, I'm thinking just use the horse. No, no. Steamboat, just two compasses. So it's free action. So I'm going to get two compasses. And next is, okay. Wow. It's crazy. Um, I think I will use a fear card to move an archaeologist to the arrowhead here um, and take an arrowhead. Nice. And that was my main action. It is now your turn. What are those artifacts? Uh, let's see. Ancient wine. For a tablet, uh, use the effect on, uh, on the gold side of one available assistant on the board. So instead of you owning it, you can just, for a gold coin, you're renting an ability from an assistant. This thing, uh, exchange one of your assistants with one available on the supply board. The new one is the same level and refreshed. Mm -hmm. So that lets you swap out assistants and refresh them. Okay. All right, um, I will... Hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I messed up. I should not have had this assistant. Why? Because the, the book gets me the assistant, uh... not the magnifying glass. So I need to put back some gold. And I that, that completely screwed up everything. Oh, because you purchased something. Because I purchased gold. stuff. Yeah. Um, so... What did you purchase? I purchased this, uh, horse card that I have in my hand, actually. So what I can do is I'll put the horse card in the discard pile. Yeah, I should not have been able to buy that. But I do need to get another card as a replacement. Mm -hmm. Um, so I should not have had that yet. So that was my bad. Okay. Again, this is our first time playing. We're going to mess up. And I think I actually took... Um, you spent the, well, I didn't, I, this, the only thing that I get is the gold from him. Yes, so, but you spent this, so wouldn't you take back these because you spent it? Oh wait, no, because yeah, you still, I still spent to get oh, there. Yeah, that's right. That's right. So I should actually lose two gold because I spent him again this turn. Good Lord. So yeah, I'm, that's fine. Again, I, I have a feeling I just messed up big time there, but... No, no. That's a good retraction. All right. All right. Um, my main action, I'm going to use this and discard this foot card to draw two cards. Okay. Cool. And that's it. All right. That was your action? Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. Well, let's see. No, what is this? I use these. All right, um, well that changes things a bit. So, what am I gonna do now? Well, I guess now what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to move my book up here at the cost of Arrowhead and Compass. I'm gonna get this guy back, and I'm gonna spend him immediately to get two gold coins. Thanks. And that ends my turn. I'm going to spin a tablet. Okay. And put this guy onto a dig site for free to, and activate it twice instead of once. Which one? Um, I will do the compasses. All right, so that's four compasses. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. Thank you. All right, and that was a, a okay. That was a regular main action. Yeah. Okay. Um. Gosh. Well, here's the thing, though. That horse card costs four gold. I, I think I had gold. I shouldn't have... I wouldn't have been able to buy it, but I should have been able to... What do you mean? You, what, had, you had... 
I, no gold. Huh? You you didn't have any gold at all. Yeah, but I spent funding to get that car. In order for me to buy, I mean, I, the math is a little confusing. Okay, well, but I should have. I should still have some more gold somewhere. But it's fine. Well, I, I think I think I shorted myself some gold somewhere. Well, how? I'm because curious. okay. I spent. Two, I only got two gold from this guy to buy that card. That card is four gold to buy. That means I would have had to have had two gold already plus this two to buy that. Mm -hmm. So I should have had two gold already. So I'm thinking like I should still so have. So now you have four gold. I should have four. Yeah. I should. All right, then yeah. I'm yeah. thinking again in my head. We're not playing the perfection, folks. No, but... that's that's a good catch. All right. Um. It's not going to be exact science, but anyway. So getting back to this, um, my turn. Mm -hmm. Um, because I would like to buy something. Mm -hmm. Um, draw a card from the bottom of your deck. Nah. Okay. So I don't like any of those cards actually. So why don't I? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I am going to. What am I going to do with these compasses? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna spend a um, I'm gonna spend this carriage and move my last archaeologist here to get two tablets, like so. Um, and I think that ends my turn. Okay. Um. Alright, I'm going to take my archaeologist and spend three compasses. Okay. To go to a place. One of these places? Yes. Okay. Um, hold on. That's three compasses. Okay. And I'm using this for the travel. Of right? oh, the carriage, yep. And I'm going all the way to the left. This one? Yeah. No, that is a trade in thing. Yeah. That is. Um, make one of these two trades. Tablets for arrowheads or arrowheads for gems. Mm -hmm. Do you want to make a trade with this? You yeah. get that immediately. Yeah. Okay. So I'll just trade this for a blue arrow. Okay. And one of these comes out. And immediately you get one gold and two tablets. Cool. Okay. And a creature comes out. It is a red tiger of sorts. And to beat it, you need two green compasses and one blue arrowhead. And the boon is one boat. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, is it my turn? Okay. Um, okay. Um, wow. Do I want to use that now? Exchange... Use the effect of mine. Do I want to use that? What's the gold side of these? This would be two boats. This is a gold and a compass. The gold side of this is two gold coins. So for three, I could buy that artifact and then immediately get two gold coins, but what am I going to do with all that money? Um, I don't have any archaeologists left to travel anywhere. So what about um, dig a site, discover a new site? Okay, so if I discover a new site, I would need three compasses, which I have a compass and I have an exploration. So I could, well, no, because I don't have any archaeologists to move. Um, buy an item. Do I want to buy an item that's out there? Draw a card from the bottom of your deck. So that would be, as soon as I buy something, I'd be able to immediately get back. That's kind of cool. Um, I used this, right? So this should be flipped over? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, sorry. You're fine. Um, this is discard a card, gain a card, and exile a card. I don't feel like that either. Um, buy an artifact, play a card, research. Um, if I were to research something, I would need a blue arrowhead to do it. And nowhere is there any benefit, like there's nowhere to get a blue arrowhead. <sighs> wow. That sucks. Okay, so I'm tempted just to play 
Like, I could risk going somewhere and hoping... Yeah, alright, maybe I should do that. I mean, I'm more than likely I'll get a fear card. But, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna play one as a free action and get an, a thing, a compass. Then I'm going to... Oh, wait, I can't, that's right. I don't have any free archaeologists left. Crap, alright, well, I'll just spend all both for, for these. And that's just all there is to it. And then, um, for our main action, um, I don't think there is any main action. I can't do anything. You can't purchase anything? I could, I just don't like any of those cards. Oh, yeah. I uh, wish one of the main actions was to just get rid of all these cards. Yeah, well, at the end of the round, two of them are gone. Yeah. Um, and this one is... Exile the rightmost in any card row. Gain any... From... Gain any item from exile to the bottom of your deck. Ooh. So, the bottom of this deck? What's the bottom of the deck? That is the brush. Gain one compass for every relic you have. I have zero. So that's not going to help me at all. Um, yeah, I mean, it's two points, but I think my compasses are better. Yeah. All right, you know what? I'm just going to pass, I think, and be done with it. Mm -hmm. So, it is your turn. I will use my main action to defeat that guardian. Okay. For one compass. Oh, for your revolver? Mm-hmm. Alright, so you get this in front of you. It's a boat. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you get to go again. Cause... And as a free action... Um... As a free action, I'll get another compass. Okay. Okay. Um, and as a free action, I guess I'll just get a coin. Okay. And can I use a main action? Yeah. Since it's my turn? Yeah. Alright, I will spend a blue arrow and a green. Okay. To move my research magnifying thing glass up. Alright, and you get, get one gold. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And then, now what? I get you get to go again if you want to. If not, then we end the round. Okay. Um, I'll spend a tablet and a thing. Okay. To move this up here. Okay. And just get a compass. Right? Okay. Get a compass. Yep. Okay. And with these three coins, I will probably purchase mm, I will purchase um, this one. Which oh, one? Oh, wait. That's to spend a coin or to gain a coin? You spend a... Uh... You spend it? Uh, I think that is, I, I think that's a cost, but I, well, no, I think it's gain a coin, draw a card from the bottom of your deck. It's weird that it's like in dead center like that. Yeah, that one's dead center as well. Yeah. And this one says pay a coin. Oh, so maybe you get a coin plus you get to draw a card. Yeah, so it's gain a coin plus draw a card from the bottom of your deck. That's how I interpret that. Okay. But here's the thing, though. Yeah, why the heck not? Okay. Three coins. Wait, do I want to do that? Why the heck not? So this goes to the bottom? Yep, yeah, it goes directly to the bottom. Okay. That slides over, and a new one comes out. Gosh, I'm so broke. <laughs> You're like spilling over with resources. Well, it doesn't really help me right now. All right, um, you want to keep going? I can't, I don't think. All right. So now we take our guys back. You get no fear because you've defeated the guardian there. Uh, shuffle all the cards in your play area and then put them on the bottom of your deck. Refresh your assistance. Oh, I'm so stupid. I should have. I should have just spent a coin. Like, sacrificed one of my artifacts. Oh, uh, the relics? Up, yeah, to move up the thing and track out. Whatever, I don't care. <laughs> oh. 
Um, how did that work? Not sure. Yeah, it goes on the bottom. All right. So one, two, three, four, five. Um, okay, so the moon staff, these two go away. This moves down, these move over. Okay, we're on round four. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, it's your turn. You're the first player again. Okay. Um... I'm going to use as a main action, I will gain a coin and draw a card from the bottom of the deck. Okay, go for it. So okay. Alright, um, I'm going to active, actually no, save that one. I'm going to use a researcher to go here and get a blue. I have to pay, um, I guess I'll pay this exploration one for as my, the boat. Again, the hierarchy, the boat can be used for the foot. Yeah. All right, all you. Okay. Um, I will... Okay. I'll spend a tablet to archaeologize okay. my guy to the compasses. These? Yeah. Okay, so you get four? Or, or what did you what did you spend? Did you, did you I already spent a tablet for that. Oh okay, gotcha. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you so get, get you get four, four tablets? Or four, four compasses. Four compasses. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Okay. Um I am going to Cry. No, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, let's see. Exile. Well, I guess as a free action, I'm going to take two gold coins. And what am I going to do with all this money? <laughs> like, I know. Like, it's getting harder and harder to to do things. I mean, I could use it to move around with airplanes, um, so there's that. Um, that was a free action. Um, what I want to do is get... Okay, so I'm going to, I think, research. I'm going to spend... Actually, this... yeah, I'm going to go in here. Uh, one tablet, one arrowhead to get another assistant. So the assistant I want is going to be... What is it? Oh, they all suck. Um, <laughs> oh, I like the one with the pug. I'm like, I mean, I don't want to exile anything, but I like that. Um, this guy is a compass and a, or a boat, and this one is a gold coin or a plane, but I've got so many gold coins. Um, I might take the sea captain here with the compass so I'm going to put him here, and as a free action, I might as well tap him or exhaust him to get a free compass. All right, and uh, it is your turn. What, what is that artifact on the far left? Two gold coins. Uh, use the effect on the silver side of one of the available, on the, uh, one of the available assistants on the supply board. Um. So you can use, you can rent any of these basically, and get two gold coins. Okay, I'm going to... Hmm, it's tough because... Okay, as a main action, I will spend three compasses and purchase this one. Okay. To gain a gold. 
And use the effect? Yeah. Okay. So gold and use the effect of one of these guys. Okay. Those slide down. What's that? And now what does that mean? Uh, discard a foot thing, any foot thing, to get an arrowhead. Okay. So discard a card with a hierarchy of, basically any, any movement card. Yeah. To get an arrowhead. Okay. I'll discard this. Okay. And no, you, when it says discard, it doesn't really mean It just doesn't mean discard. Yeah. It just means put it in your yeah. play area. You won't be able to use it for anything else. And that's the gold area, right? So you can use it. Is that what it says? Well, it says right here. Use the effect on the gold side. Yeah, so you just gain an arrow. Oh, no, no, no. It's, that means you don't have to give up a card. Oh. Anymore. That just means that just gain an arrowhead. Okay. So you're renting it is what you're doing. Aw, I need a use for this stupid thing. <laughs> All right. Was that a free that was, action? Or? That was my main action because okay. I purchased that. Okay. Um, okay. I am going to use the lantern to activate a site. And I'm going to activate this site to get an arrowhead. And I'm pretty sure that ends my turn. Okay, I'm going to... <sighs> hmm. So, okay. As a free action, I want to get this compass. Okay. Compass? Yes. Thank you. You got that revolver again. Um, <laughs> you don't know me, bro? Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was the free action. Um, my main action, I'm going to use a carriage. Okay. And go here. Okay. All right, so you get a free compass and an idol. And I spent three. You spent three. Yeah, got one. And a new site comes out. It is some kind of skeleton. I can't tell what that is. But you get a fear card and a compass and a gem. So you get a fear card. Yeah. A compass and a gem. Pros. And the monster that comes out, you need an airplane and an arrowhead. It's a dragon, or a bat, or something. Okay. Okay? My turn? Mm -hmm. All right. I am going to research. Um, I'm going to bring my magnifying glass here, spend two tablets and one arrowhead to move up there, and I get a compass immediately. Nice. And by the way, folks, um, these bonuses, some of these spaces are empty because they're for three and four players. There's like a three plus, four plus on them. All right, so it is your turn. I'm going to spend a compass and use this for my main action and get rid of that. Again. Okay. All right. You get to keep that. All right. I'm going to use this boon. All right. Which is to exile a card? Yes. And I'm going to get rid of this, of this stupid fear card. Okay. So I'm just going to put that there. Yeah. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay, I am going to move this guy here to get two tablets. I have to discard a card to do it. I guess I'll discard the boat. And it is your turn. I will use an arrow and a green to move this guy up here. Okay. So that's one coin. And you get a guy, an assistant. Okay. Do I get a coin for this? Uh, oh, no. No, that's for no, the magnifying glass. Right. Okay, so I only get this. Mm -hmm. All right, I will get this thing then. All right. And I will... Oh, and that was my main action. That was your main action. Yes. Um, How do you upgrade this thing? That's not a free... Do you have to get to the gold spot? Oh, that's right. Spot? Okay. okay. No worries. It's fine. Um, okay. All right. Here we go. Fun stuff. I'm going to play this one, spend a tablet, 
to research with a discount of one gem. So I can move up here and only spend one tablet ah, that's instead right. of the gem to get that. So I get the gold plus, what's that bonus to the right? It's a compass. Mm -hmm. There. Okay. And I guess that ends my turn. Okay. Um, as a free action, I'll get a blue arrow with this. It's not a, f oh yeah, it is, yeah, this is a free act. Yeah, you can, mm-hmm. Okay, so I get a blue arrow? Yep, you get a blue arrow. Mm -hmm. With this card. And as my main action, I'll research. Um... I'll research with the red gem here. Okay. And get an assistant. Okay. Uh, so you're gonna what now? I moved here. Okay. Do I get this? Yeah, you get a tablet. Okay. And you get. I spent that. Okay. Okay. And you get an assistant. take the free action or, or do I win? Yeah, you can, it's a free act. Yeah, you can take free actions before or after your main action. Alright. So, so do you want a coin? It's, yeah, a coin. Okay. Anything else? Um, I think that was it. Now it's your turn. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is spend, I'm gonna buy uh, an artifact. Um, I'm going to buy, um, let's see. For three compass, um, I'll buy this one. So for three compass, now that goes immediately here, and I get to use it for free now. It's two coin, and use the effect on the silver side of one of the available on the supply board. Well, I'm gonna give up a coin to get an arrowhead. So up one coin, one arrowhead for me. This moves down and new artifact comes out and your turn what does that say pay compass to reveal the top tile of the stack activate it then put it on the bottom oh, okay so mm -hmm. basically you get the resources that are underneath it or on the other side okay um i will spend oh Hmm. I'll spend, um, two coin, wait, yeah, yeah, I'll spend two coin to buy this card. Okay, exile and get a tablet is what that is, but you have to wait till you draw it next time. Uh, items that you buy go on the bottom yeah, of your deck immediately. Yeah, I'm just thinking mm -hmm. if I should or not. No, you know what? No, I'll save it. All right. I'm going to research, actually. Okay. I'm going to use a blue arrow and two tablets to bring my magnifying glass up here and get a compass. Is it? Okay. And that's it. All right. Um, goodness, I still have this compass here. All right, so I've got, so I want to buy another artifact at this point. Pay a compass to reveal the top of the, then activate it, then put it on the bottom. Um, or I can exile a card, which is probably a good idea. Just so I can get to my other cards better. Um, but none of them are fear cards, that's, that's what sucks. Um, this one is draw a card and exile a card. I bet you, I don't know which one is the fear card. Um, exchange one of your, one of your available, oh, so I can exchange one 
The new one is the same level and refreshed. Interesting. So what I could do is I could pay two compass, use it now to swap this. Actually, I don't need this guy anymore. So I could swap this one for this one, refresh it, and then get another arrowhead. Um, the question is, do I need to, like... Hmm. Oh, goodness gracious. There's it, a lot of choices in this. Yeah. I feel like I'm starved for... I, I can't get up this no matter how hard I try. Like, you've been doing all this. I still can't get up here. It's, like, I don't know... Like, I don't know how to get enough resources to get up this track. Like, it's just... I can't get enough stuff. Um... Yeah, I'd be still on start if it wasn't for like I can I can take a risk and hope that the resources on these are really good. Um, and they're not like that crap right there. Get a fear card. Yeah, I have no I have no idea what kind of resources are bonuses on the on the back side of these. Because um, if I get more coins at this point, then I'm kind of screwed. I'm, I need tablets mainly at, right now. So. Um, You know, maybe I missed something. I wonder if you can travel to these sites after the fact and get their... But, but. Check it, because you could. Maybe you could. It's a little late now, because we're nearing the end of the game. I'm just saying, I think you can... Um, like, again, I think we played a little incorrectly for this game, mm. but I'm pretty sure that you're allowed to go to a site after the fact. Yeah, I think you can. So, yeah, and it, it, well, I think so, because it, it says here that you can travel to a location with a guardian still on it. So it's like, I think, I think you can revisit these in the future. Yeah, because using those is, is like, it's, really limiting. It is. Like, I'm not, I'm, I'm starved for resources. I'm not getting enough. So I'm thinking that, you know, I, I messed up by not using these mm -hmm. and not, not unlocking more of these, but... So anyway. traveling is free, but unlocking them still costs, right? Tra well, you still have to pay the cost here. Yeah. Um, so what was I going to do? All right, so I guess what I'll do is, what am I looking to do? Um, okay. So um, let's do... All right, I've got one blue. I need tablets. So... I mean, I, I might as well, right, I'll spend this thing for the free compass. That gives me five. I could pay, I could have enough for one purchase. I can, at, at two and three, I could do these two, but I don't think I'm, I want to do that. This one is exile a card, which I don't think I want to do. And this one is pay to reveal this. Um, this one, exchange one of, yeah, so maybe I might... That will give me another arrowhead for a future thing. So, How many assistants can you have? How many what? Assistants. Is it infinite? Two. Oh, okay. Because there's only two assistant earn slots. Oh, I see. Um, okay, so I'm, I think I'm going to go with this one. And I can use that immediately without paying for it. And I still have to spend two compasses. Exchange one of your assistants. I'm going to exchange the gold one because the gold one... Is kind of useless to me right now. Mm -hmm. So that one goes there instead. I'm going to take this one, the gold for the arrowhead. It starts refreshed. Now I'm going to tap, I'm going to exhaust it, spend a gold to get another arrowhead. And that was, um, that was all a free, no, buying that card was an action. So these slide down. Mm -hmm. and is it, the round over? No, because it's, oh, it's your turn. All right. Hmm. Okay. Um, now, if I do this, 
that counts as a free action. That is a free action. Slot. Yes. So it's so this is basically worth two points now, right? Instead of the three. Kind of. Yeah, you're covering up a one. Now, do I pick any? Any power? of those? Any of those powers? Okay, I will pick the blue power. Okay. The blue arrow. That gives you a blue arrow. Okay. That's for my main action. I'm going to spend two to grab this here. Okay. So that goes right on the bottom of your thing. Of your deck. I know, hard to pick up. Okay. What is that one? Exile this card to oh, gain wow. three cards. Jeez. So, like... Burn it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that, that might be good for me for the last round. All those extra cards. But, I mean, I got the money. I might as well, actually. So, um, for my main action, I mean, I've got a lot of gold. I'm going to spend two gold to buy that card so that it comes up for the last round. Does this refresh? It refreshes. Oh. And it is your turn. What? Uh, wait, what? What is this? Exile this card to gain some a shovel <laughs> to your hand. Gain an item card. Uh, so... Exile this card to gain an item card into your hand. So, get rid of, you buy it, you play it on a future round, and you get your pick of any items that are out there. Alright, um, I will... Hmm. Now, is it... Okay. So can you play free actions and main actions, like, mixed together? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Free actions can occur before and after your main action. Okay. Um... <laughs> um, okay. Hold on, I'm thinking. Sorry. Mm-hmm. That would be... Okay, I'm going to do this as a free action. This is worth one point now. Okay. It's rough, but whatever. What are you going to do with it? I'm going to take two tablets. Two tablets. Mm -hmm. All right. And as my main action, I will research, and I will spend these three to bring this guy up here. Okay. And I can t flip one over. Yes. Whichever one you want. I was intending to go the gold, the research tree, and you're like passing me up on it. That's I'm I'm screwed. No, no, no. I'm just saying, like I my play is there's something off with it. Again, I think I'm starved for resources yeah, somewhere. Yeah, I, I think I think it was okay to visit those places. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you want to do. I'm scared. It's fine. You good? Happy? Yeah. <laughs> Your turn. I'm passing. There's nothing I'm else for passing. me to do. Okay. Um. You can't repeat these, right? Repeat what? Like these powers once. You can repeat them. You can. You can choose one of the five powers. As you do them, you choose one of the five powers. Um, I think I'm good for now. Okay. Um, so these guys come back to us. Um, you, you shuffle these into the bottom of this. I already did that for mine. Refresh these. Yours refresh. The staff moves down here. Actually, let's do this. On either side, they go away. That one goes. That one goes. That one moves down. Does Please. this get refreshed or no? No. Okay. And two artifacts. Treasure chest and the trader's coins. Crazy. Oh, interesting. This one now it's your turn. Okay. Um, that's actually a good one. I could trade. The trading action is what? That is a tablet for an arrowhead or arrowhead for a gem. Uh, actually, I actually have to draw five. One, two, three, four, five. 
All right, now that one card I bought should be out here, which it is. Um, okay. So, the first thing I kind of need to do, though, is get... Um, now, for to be consistent, do you want to ignore the fact that we can go to these places? I don't care. It's up to you. Like, I mean, it doesn't bother me if we start. We, then we'll both do it then, I guess. I don't know. Uh, you can do it. It, it. It's just one extra tablet. That's the thing. Bother. So, well, how badly do I want that at this point? Yeah, badly enough. Okay, so I'm going to go with... Um, I want to bring. I'm going to spend a funding card uh, as a as a carriage to move one guy here to get two tablets and one gold. Nice. Gold. And it is your turn. Um, I will. to discard a card as my main action to gain two cards. Okay. I'm going to discard this one. Okay. Gain one and two. Okay. And I think that's all I can do. Okay. Um, oh, as a free action? Yes. Uh oh. <laughs> uh -oh. You're very happy about that. Uh -oh. <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> <Go> sure. <ahead. laughs> All right. I am going to. I need to really think about how I'm going to chain all of this together. Crap. Okay. Um. This is crazy stuff. Um. I could. All right. I am going to. I guess I'll spend, or do I want to do something else? Yeah, I need that. I need that resource, I think. But, or I can go there and just get. Yeah. All right. Um. Jeez. All right. I want to go here. Mm -hmm. Get two more tablets. Okay. Um. I have to spend a foot, which is my fear card. Yes. So I'm going to take two more tablets. I'm going to spend a tablet and use the effect on the gold side here. To draw a card? draw a card. Awesome. And I'm going to use a free action, this card, to gain a blue arrow. Okay. There you go. Awesome. I, 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 I am going to, yeah, I'm going to move up here, two tablets and one blue arrow to upgrade um, one guy. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade her to the other side, which is one gold is not only a blue, but it could be a red gem. Mm -hmm. If I want it to be. And it is uh, your turn. Okay. Trying to think how I want to do this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's tough. <laughs> um. Um, sheesh. Uh, okay, I will, um, if you buy this one, then what? Like, if, and then in the future, any, any, no, because it's pointless. It is, well. Right? 
Yeah, that's that's just worth one point. That'll go to the bottom of your deck, and it'll be worth one point at the end of the game. All right. Um, in that case, I will just. Dang, I really needed. Actually, you know what? As a free action, I will get the green compass. Yes. Okay. And I will, as my main action, I will spend these two compasses. And grab this one. All right, which lets you draw a card for free. Yep. Is it a fear card? Oh, that lets you refresh. Interesting. Discard a card or play a card to refresh both assistants. Interesting. These artifacts suck. Hmm. <laughs> well, um. I am going to spend a tablet. Hmm. I'm going to spend. Uh, yep, yeah, I'm going to spend a tablet, or I'm going to spend a tablet to play this, which is research with a discount of one gem. Nice. So that brings me up here. I'd still have to spend my other tablet to do that. So if I go here, though, that would spend a blue... It wouldn't matter. My blue arrowhead. Um, if I go this way, I get a free compass with it. So, well, then I wouldn't need this. So, hold on. So rather than spend the red gem, I'll go this way and get... It's tablet, that, and stone. And I get this bonus, which is a compass. Lucky. <laughs> and that gets me uh, another upgrade. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I've got two gold assistants at the moment. Is this the last round? Um, it is, is the last round. It is? Okay. All right. In that case, I will discard t this to get a tablet. No. This one to get a tablet. You're gonna. I'm discarding a card. D oh, to get a tablet. Yeah. Oh, oh, wait. This is an exile card. Oh, they have to go to the top of the main board. Okay. So I have to destroy it. Yeah, destroy that to get a tablet. Alright, so do I put this here or yeah. is this a starter card? That's it. Put it off to the side so we don't confuse them. Yeah, okay. Alright, so that's a tablet. And that's all I can do, I think. I think. Because that was my main action. Okay. Alright. Now, I will play... I'll spend a tablet to move this up here, spend a gold. Nice. And that gets me uh, one... Compass. One compass. Very good. I will research, spend all this stuff. Um, so what now? I'm going to research up to here. Okay. And you stole my compass. Did I? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. You get a compass back, though, as a reward. Okay. I'll, I'll Did I give myself two compasses or one? I don't know. Maybe you gave Oh, no, because I gave myself that. Um, I was the uh, book. That's right. I'm good. Um, I'll spend a free action to get another one. Okay. Now you've got two. Mm -hmm. Um, I've got five compasses. Um... Okay. I'm going to free action get a red gem. And I I can play that one just to get a compass in that one. And if I move could spend that to move up there and draw a new card. Okay, so I think what I'll do... Hmm. This is useless to me because as boats, I can't do anything with boats. So I might as well spend the free action two compasses. And that gives me eight compasses. I could... Buy that one to discard a card to re or, or 
I need a bunch of reactions. Um, all right, that one's worth three, actually. Three points. That's not bad. Okay, so what I'll do is I'm going to buy a comp I'm going to spend four compasses to buy this one. I get a free action with it, mm -hmm. um, which is draw a card and gain a coin. These move down. That moves there. And that, I think, is my turn. What does that mean? That's a Relocate a placed person to a camp or a site and activate it. So you can move someone immediately somewhere else. That's interesting. <laughs> That's anyone? Relocate anyone? Well, one of your people. Oh. One of your two archaeologists. What's this one? Refresh both of your assistants. All right, I'm gonna go over there. Oh wait, I can't. Where, here? No, the second one. Here? Yeah, I so have to spend a movement. You have to spend a foot, at least. Or, if you have two coins. I have a boon here. It's so a boat, yeah, you yeah. can spend your boon. I'll do that. And you get two compasses. All right. I wanna buy something too. Now, if I buy that and refresh these and get more resources, what could I do with them? This is another red gem. Um, would that red gem help me at all? It, actually, it might. So, what I may do is I'm going to spend four compasses to buy this one. And I can activate it now, which is refresh... I get rid of a card, my exploration, to refresh these. So, all right, so that's done. That's there. That's a fear and gain two blue arrows. Are there any bonus points or any extra resources at the end? Not that I know of. Okay. Um... Alright. Sorry, I'm thinking. Mm hmm. Might as well. I'm going to. Okay. Hold on. I'm still thinking. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, okay. Sticks. I'm going to travel somewhere, that's for sure. So I'll be using this to travel. It's a complete overkill. Okay. But I kind of have to. It's the last round, right? Mm hmm. I'm trying to figure out a way to get more compasses, and I can't. Stupid artifact card. And that's a one lock, so that wouldn't help. Damn. Yeah, why would you spend? Okay. And this is the last round, right? Yes, for the third time. Sorry. <laughs> are you going to do any other turns? Yes. You are. You are. Absolutely. I've got at least three or four lined up. So maybe, hold on. I could do that. Oh, 
Oh, no, I can't. Okay, yeah. All right. I'm going to do this and spend four. What am I going to do? It's either a compass or. Actually. Nah, it's fine. I'll do a tablet. Okay. So you're going to spend mm -hmm. that assistant to go here. Mm -hmm. You get a tablet reward. Um, that goes here. You get the reward listed here. It's either two compasses or a free card. A free tool. Which one do you want? Two compasses or a card. Oh, crap. Two compasses. So I'll yeah. just get these two back. All right, um, and then the monster. It's an eagle, an owl, some kind, and it needs three tablets. All right, um, I am going to. Um, I'm blue, so I'm gonna. Actually, I'm gonna spend. I'm gonna use this assistant to get a. It's a free action compass and a gold. And then for my main action, I'm going to spend a gem and a compass nice. to get this free card draw bonus. So that goes into my hand. Um, so I am there. It is now your turn. Oh, I also get as a bonus oh, another to draw, a card. draw a card. Sweet. So I'm, I've got three cards still. I'm going to spend a compass. To, to shoot this guy? Yes. Man, you are you are the killer of the killer of monsters for sure. Yeah. All right. I am going to looking at your hand. I don't see what much what else you could do, but um, I could activate. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend her to get a gem. I have to spend a coin to get a gem. That's a free action. Then I'm going to use a gem and a thing to get this, and this is three compasses. Nice. All right. It is your turn. Thank you. You've got two compasses, and I'm checking to see what you can do with... You don't have enough to buy any artifacts. The two compasses that you have... Like, I don't know what you got. Unless you I spend a relic. I spend these relics. <laughs> you could. I could. I think I know which ones I have too in there. Um, no, but then that's pointless. What is that? That blue thing. Gain an artifact. Oh, okay. That, there's an X though. That mean without purchasing the compasses. Oh, okay. So, so I you... could gain a free artifact if I manage to get my book up there. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Um, well, first thing I'm gonna do. Did Hold you pass? On. Yeah, no, not yet. Oh, all right. uh, I'm still thinking. All right. You do. I'm wondering if I should sacrifice. You know what? I am. Okay. I am. I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna gain a power. All right, what's your power? You do realize that was an Emperor Palpatine quote. Yep, I do. Just saying, you're quoting Star Wars. I, I don't want to hear I any crap listening. from you next time I do it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to gain a compass and a gold. A compass and a gold? Wait, do I want to? I know better than to collect the resources. I'm sorry! Before you say, is that your final answer? Is that my final answer? Hold on. This was, okay. Alright. Oh my gosh. I might actually have to bite the bullet on that. Um, yeah. Compass. I want to draw, just a draw, but that's stupid. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll do the compass and the gold. Is that your final answer? Yes. Well, yeah, 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 give it to me before I change my mind. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, that was my free action, That's a right? free action, yes. All right, 
Um, I will. I'm going to pay three compasses for this. For this. Okay. Right here. So you get two gold coins plus you can trade in something with something. I think it's a, yeah. a tablet for an arrowhead and an arrowhead for a gem. So you could get a blue arrowhead with this if you wanted. <laughs> so um. Yeah, why not? You want a blue airhead? No, I'm not a school kid or something. Like that. <laughs> okay. You're good? Sure. Alright. To give myself some extra breathing room, I'm going to exile this card to draw three cards. Um, so I go to there, and then one, two, three. I'll alt up my entire hand. It's all my deck, all gone. Okay, so now I can't draw any more cards even if I wanted to. Um, okay. So that was... Um, that was my action. That was your action? Mm-hmm. Can you do anything with your three coins? You could buy that one card... I am, because... For one point. Well, hold on. Um... <laughs> Okay, oops. Alright, I'll do this. I'll do this last one as my free action. Okay. So these are all worth nothing now, right? You have, yeah, you lose. That's 10 points that you're not using. Yeah. Yeah, alright. But wait, so how much would this be then? Nothing? No, it's 12. 3, 6, 9, 12. Like, you're covering up victory points, basically. So I lost 10 points. You lost 10 points that's using fine. all those actions, yes. That's alright. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get two tablets. Two tablets. Wait, do I want two tablets? Two tablets. But then that would let me... Oh, but I, I won't be able to use this because I already used it, huh? This artifact? Yeah, you already used that artifact. Okay. That's nine. And that one's six. You know what? I'll just... I'll do this one, actually. Gold for a ruby. Okay. And I will do the research as my main action and go up here. Okay. So golden ruby and that gets you a compass. Compass. Wow. Dang, so this is kinda of pointless. <laughs> this thing. Oh man. I can activate that to go up there and that gets me another compass. Or do I bring my book? Do I get Activate a site to get my book up there. I would need two. So I would need, I don't have enough for that. Ah, uh, what? It's crazy. But that gets me a free artifact. So it just makes sense for me to do that. Okay, so I think I'm going to, um, yeah, there's nothing I can do, so I have to pass anyways. Yeah. So you do your thing. I'm thinking. I'm so thinking. <laughs> um, wow. These artifacts are useless in my hand, so I might as well use abilities to... Okay, so this lantern, activate any site. I'm thinking of activating this site to give up a card to... Like an artifact that I'm, that's dead to me to get a gem. And with that gem, I could then upgrade... Yes, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend my lantern to activate any site, which is this one, um, to... Or do I want to activate that one and get two more of those? Crap. It's... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, I can't do everything, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. So, lant so if I activate this one and get two, two tablets, what do I do with two tablets? I could turn a tablet in with that card to get an arrowhead if I needed to. Or two tablets 
two tablets and an arrowhead gets me this spot, which then refunds a tablet. But, like, it, there's, I've got so many different moves right now, and I don't know how I'm going to play this. Um, ah, oh, that stinks. All right, well, let's do this. Let's get a free compass. Mm -hmm. I've got four. I think what I want to do is get arrowheads. So I'm going to have to bite the bullet and get a fear card. That's minus one point, but I think it'll pay off in the end. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to spend four compasses to get this, which is two arrowheads um, and a fear card. All right, so that goes there. Um, that slides down. Next, um, again, you're passing, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so I'll keep going. Yeah. Uh, lantern, to activate a site, I want to activate this one and get two tablets. And then a coin. All right. That leaves me with... Okay, so now I can... Um, oh wait, what did I buy? Didn't I buy a car? Uh, yeah, I bought, I bought, okay, yeah, I bought that. Um, okay, so now with my two tablets and... Arrowhead. Or do I move up here and get that? Well, can I do both? That, that, and that. Or, actually, no, I'll do this first to get the tablet for this. Okay, so if, no. This up here, two tablets and an arrowhead. And the reward is one tablet and a oh, artifact of my choice. Good lord, you can chain. I'm chaining. Um, two tablets or pass to gain a gem. Wow. I like that. Two, two more tablets. So I might actually do that one. Sweet. So I'm going to take this for free. And it's a free thing, so I'm just going to take two tablets. Alright, and that refreshes. Alright, next, that's a kill, uh, kill a guardian. That's not going to help me out at all. Mm -hmm. um, next, I can do a gem, or a, 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 a coin, tablet, and arrowhead to move my magnifying glass up one. Mm. Here, I get a compass for that. Okay, no bonus. This one can go that way as well, but I don't have an arrowhead to do it. I do have, I do have two tablets left. So, I could, um, I could use my artifacts. Exchange. Use the effect of the silver side of one available on the board. This will get me coin. This lets me draw a card. No. This lets me exile a card, which... No. So, what if I use one to exchange? Exchange one of your guys with one of the available on the supply. This new one is the same level and refreshed. So, the gold side of this is gain a compass and exile a card. This is just gain a card. This is three coin. So, you know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to spend a tablet. See, I need a gem for that. I don't have a gem. Um, wow. It's crazy. Oh, this goes away. Um, all right. So, in that case, exchange one of your guys. So, with a tablet... I'm going to exchange this one, same value, she's refreshed, mm -hmm. and I'm going to use her to gain a compass and to exile a card. I'm going to exile that one fear card that I just picked up. Bye. And that leaves me with two compasses and... And for all the all the cards here are four compasses. So, um, I'm surprised you didn't get this one when you move. were offered that one. That way you can move it here. Yeah. And instead of two tablets, you get an arrow, and then use your two compasses I, to get that. I probably could have done that. I just again there was so much going I know, on. There is. There really it's is. It's easy to look at someone and go, oh yeah, you could have done it that. It is. It is so much easier. <laughs> 
Um, and then I can use the effect on the silver side of one available on the supply board. So I could then use this guy's ability, the silver side, to get another compass. But that gives me three compass and not four. Is there a way for me to gain another? I've got, all I have is this. I've, um, I might as well get the free funding. And actually, you know what? Um, I'm going to start buying these cards up. Two. That goes on the bottom there. And I can actually use these to draw. Well, I guess it's a little late. Um, okay, so this goes there. Um, did I spend two? There. That was two for that one. Uh, that's one coin. I will buy that one too. Mm -hmm. And this one is two coins. Two coins. I will buy that. Sure, why not? And this is two. Okay. Um, what's left? This says, use the effect of the silver side of one on the avail. Okay, so can I move anyone else up at this point? I need a blue, th blue arrowhead and I need a red gem, and I have neither. And there, I have no way to refresh these that I know of. Um... Yeah, I think you destroyed me <laughs> that very last turn. I have to wonder if we've been playing wrong in the sense that when we move someone somewhere, they can move again. What do you mean? What if we can move these guys again? Did we miss that somewhere? Again, folks, this is our first game. Just saying. But, like, what's the... Oh, if both are already on sites, you can... Oh, it says, to if both of your archaeologists are already on sites, you cannot take this action. Uh, no, move your archaeologist from your player board to that space. So, no, you can't keep moving people okay. around. All right, so, whew. Crisis averted. Um, so, what I may do, then, is... Um, spend my last tablet to pay this. Mm -hmm. This gets me two coin, plus I can use the silver side of one of these. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use the silver side of, wow, actually. Draw a card. <laughs> I could, but I'd have to get rid of a card, draw a card and, oh. and get rid of a card. Which I'd be drawing and deleting. Mm -hmm. Um... I, I think what I may do is just get two more coin. Use the silver side of this one to get two more coin. <laughs> and I'm going to purchase... Well, I've got... Yeah, so I'll take that. That's crazy. It's two coin. Um, what's that one? One coin. I'll take it. Wait, you got three coins? I, I had two. I just... I gained two from that one and two from this. Wow. You know, so now you have one left? I have two left. I, yeah, one left. <laughs> Is that a one? Two. It's a two. All right. So... <laughs> yeah, I think you beat me just with cards alone. No. I am... I acquire things. Um, okay, so, like, I don't think I can do anything else at this point. I've exhausted everything I could think of. All right, so now we move on to the last scoring here, and... That was all in one turn. I was ahead of you for for kind of. I, I'm time. pretty sure you won. No, absolutely not. <laughs> You've got a lot of art. Uh, there's... You just picked up twelve cards in a row that just like demolished all no. of this. <laughs> all right. So the final positioning, I had sixteen Damn. on this, the purple number, yeah. and eight on that one. So that's twenty-four. <laughs> Yours. Eleven. Eleven. <laughs> Not yet. Nine and two. Eleven. Okay. The, did we get any of these? No. no. I was trying. I was really trying to get up there. Um, relics? You have twelve. I have zero. I, don't, I did not get any of these relics. Or idols, I think they're called. Yeah. Um, how many of those did you kill? Four? Twenty. Yeah. Four. So right. twenty. Um, Alright, so now I have to count points on my cards. Two, three. Two, three. Wow. Minus one is 19. Eight. 
19 and 8. Okay. How many... Well, the fear cards I counted in with that. Um, wow. I should I should count that. So I got 20 minus 1. Okay, how many fear cards? I had 9 minus 1. So okay, so it was 9 it was and then minus 1. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so 20. All right, so adding this up, I had 24 plus 20 is 44, minus 1 is 43. Yours was probably more. Uh, no way. Looks like it. 11, 12, 23. 23 plus 20 is 43. Plus 9 is 52. Minus 1 is 51. Yeah, you won. Wow. Look at that. Beautiful. It was those monsters, man. You slayed the monsters. That's what got you. So what did you think of this? It was okay. Um... It was for a... Di it didn't... Like, it was advertised as a deck building game, and I felt like it wasn't no. as deck buildy as it as other card games I've ever played. Not at all. Like, I like this most than anything else, but... What do you mean, this? Like, I liked the deck building more than the placement, because there wasn't a lot of placement since... It was, yeah, like two it was, archaeologists. It was everything. It was resource collecting. It was card management. It was deck building. And I felt like the deck building was the most limited... Yeah. Which is kind of disappointing. My problem was resources. Like, I, I felt starved with two archaeologists. I would have preferred three. I would have to play this again just to use these more because I, I didn't know that we could. Me neither. Call but it, we both made the same mistakes and we were consistent. Yeah. So, you know, again, we made mistakes in the game, but, like, I felt starved for resources this entire game. Like, I had a hard. It was only at the fifth round that I actually started feeling like I was chaining. Stuff, yeah. but by that point, like you were ahead the entire game, like easily. Uh, that's only because of the one card, this one that made me get that revolver, two, man. The revolver and the the double income. Yeah. If I didn't have this double income, I wouldn't be able to do anything, to be honest. Mm. Like I relied on this. That's why I didn't buy that many cards. Yeah. And I needed it low. I needed my account number to be low just to like catch up with you, and I couldn't. Um, it was, it was tough. Mm -hmm. You know, it was very tough. The, the quality of the game is excellent. Like the art, the board, the cards, the tiles, all of it, mm -hmm. the pieces, like this is quality stuff. So you're definitely getting yeah. a quality game here as far as components are concerned. Um, like I already said, this is a mix of like so many different genres. Uh, mm -hmm. she, she mentioned the deck building, which it's lighter than I would have liked. You've got resource management and collection. Again, it's a little lighter than I would have liked. I felt starved the entire game, but then again, we were kind of playing incorrectly for a while. Yeah, I really tried getting up there, too. I really tried, but I could never get enough compasses. I'm just curious to see what the rewards would have been. Two tablets, two... Wow. wow. So these are decent. But this is RNG, though. You never know what... Re I, I didn't want to go for these because I didn't know what resources I would have won. Yeah. And I didn't want to, like, risk losing compasses for resources I didn't need. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's why I didn't go for those at all. Oh, I forgot to add in my ten points. Well, well, you won then. <laughs> uh, I forgot about that. Well, that would have that got me a 53. 53. To 51. Yeah. Because you covered yours, yeah. I did not. I had to, and I got three extra points covering all of these. All right, so I did win. <laughs> yeah, good job. My bad. I forgot to cut. Yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah, I had still. It's crazy. If I didn't cover these, I would still be here. Because I covered these mainly to get to track up the research tree because I was doing so much battling. It was, it was hard, like, trying to decide what to do. Mm -hmm. I, I liked it. Again, I, I would have preferred to play this game with another guy. For two players, I would have liked like another archaeologist so that yeah. we could we could get more resources, we had more options. Uh, it would make the game longer for sure. Yeah, the traveling but, thing, like having cards to count as a dual traveling, purpose. Yeah. It was really confusing and um I don't know if I liked that or not. It was so like, oh, I can't travel there to get this resources. Oh, I can't travel there to get this resource. So I can't, I don't know. It was it was frustrating, but I, I would definitely play this again. I would play it again too. Mm -hmm. I, I liked it. Setting up the game was a chore just because... Like, when I opened the box, it was component overload. Yeah. And it was, this is one of those games that, you know, you're going to need half an hour to an hour... 
if you're new to the game, to, okay, I'm reading the rules, okay, I'm setting up, it took me an hour to set this up after reading the, like an hour with reading the rules, setting everything up, another half an hour to explain idly how to play it, as best as I knew how, <laughs> and then another half an hour to talk to you folks about it, so it's like two hours went by before we even got into the game, so it's like, this is a game that I would say moderate to heavy Euro gamers, I think, would enjoy this. It's good quality, they would appreciate it. There's a lot of different mechanics going on here. Again, with the deck building, you've got your, your pool up there for buying cards. I like the fact that um, tools are good in the beginning, like plenty, but then as the game progresses, more artifacts pop up. So coins become less needy and you can fr it frees up your coin to use for travel. Um, or, you know, and then you need to start getting compasses so that you can get more artifacts. I, I was, I was, I like the possible chaining in this game. Mm -hmm. That last round that I did proved that you could chain out the wazoo with this game, but only in the fourth or fifth round. It takes, the first couple of rounds, you're going to be slogging, trying to get those resources. Mm -hmm. Um... I think that's the only way to even get up here. Yeah, like, I, I ignored this just so I could concentrate on this, and I still didn't get all the way up there. Mm -hmm. Maybe if I didn't use my book so much, maybe I could have gotten the, the magnifying glass at the top and then earned those points that way. Mm -hmm. But that's the trade-off. What, what do you concentrate on? You can't do everything in this game. If you do everything in this game, yeah. you're only going to score a little here, a little here, a little here, but if you concentrate heavily here, like you did with the monsters, I, 20 points, no, man. No, I should have concentrated concentrated more with the monsters because I was trying to climb up a little here because I wanted some of these too you know mm -hmm. yeah I like the assistance I like the like there's a lot of things that I like about this it's just again for the for the majority of the game I felt starved for resources that's my biggest complaint but maybe that's by design you can only get two rubies and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> like, that's so many you gems. have to figure out ways using cards to get more gems Good that's Lord. all there is to it like, I cycled through my entire deck almost with in that last round because of the cards I picked up. That's crazy. So, would I play this again? Yes. Uh, just, again, I would, I would modify it maybe just to try it in two players. Maybe add, like, I get a, a third meeple for each of us. That's what I would do. But you play how you want. Lost Ruins of Arnak. If you guys haven't already, subscribed to me on Twitch and YouTube. That way you can stay up to date with any new content I happen to publish. This is Vincent Adelie. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time. Bye, guys.